Right then, let's get straight to the point. Let's talk about something properly British, the Challenger 2 main battle tank. It's not just a vehicle, it's a rolling symbol of British grit and determination. 64 tonnes of T-fuelled aggression, the automotive equivalent of a bulldog in a steel helmet. It's stubborn, it's tough, and it's got a bite that'll make you think twice. Not pretty, not fast, but built for one job, overwhelming, earth-shattering force. It's the kind of machine that doesn't need to look sleek, it just needs to get the job done, no matter what stands in its way. The Challenger 2 is the backbone of the British Army's armoured regiments, the machine they send in when things get serious. When the situation turns dire, this is the steel giant you want leading the charge. Got a building full of bad guys? Challenger 2. It's the answer to urban chaos, clearing the way for the rest of the force. Enemy tank giving you trouble. Challenger 2. It's designed to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with the toughest opponents and come out on top. It's served everywhere from the Balkans to Iraq, proving Britain still packs a monumental punch. No matter the climate or terrain, the Challenger 2 adapts and dominates. Some say it's old-fashioned, been around since the 90s, but age is just a number when you're built to last, and this tank has seen decades of action. But in a world of drones and cyber warfare, sometimes you need raw power and impenetrable armor. Technology changes, but the need for brute strength on the battlefield never goes away. You can't intimidate a bunker with an email. When you need to make a statement, nothing speaks louder than a 120mm shell. You need something that can take a hit and hit back harder. The Challenger 2 shrugs off punishment and delivers it right back, twice as hard. So that's the Challenger 2's party trick, presence. It doesn't just arrive, it announces itself with authority. When it rolls into view, the atmosphere changes. You can feel the tension shift. The respect it commands is immediate and undeniable. It's a psychological weapon as much as a physical one, telling everyone the situation just escalated. Its mere presence can turn the tide of a confrontation before a shot is even fired. For the crew, it's their office, shield and sword all in one. Inside, they trust the armor and firepower to keep them safe and get the job done. A testament to British engineering built for survival and dominance, not speed. Every bolt and plate is designed for resilience, making it a fortress on tracks. It's a magnificent, thundering beast, and one of the most brilliant things Britain's ever built. It's a source of pride, a symbol of what British industry and ingenuity can achieve. A proper tank for a proper army. It leads from the front, inspiring confidence in those who follow. It's not about flash, it's about being the last one standing. When the dust settles, you want the Challenger 2 still in the fight. The Challenger 2 is a statement. Britain may be small, but it's never to be underestimated. It's a reminder that strength isn't always about size, but about resolve and capability. When the talking stops, this is what you want on your side. When it's time for action, the Challenger 2 is ready to answer the call. The Challenger 2, big, angry, and very, very British. It's not just a tank, it's a legend, and it's here to stay. Let's get to the good bit, the gun. This is where the Challenger 2 truly sets itself apart from the rest. The Challenger 2's L30A1 is a 120mm rifled cannon. Unlike most modern tanks, which use smoothbore guns for their main armament, the rifling inside the barrel spins the shell, making it astonishingly accurate at long range. It's often called the sniper rifle of tanks, able to hit targets at distances where others struggle. Britain chose a unique path, using two-piece ammunition with separate projectile and propellant. This design not only adds safety for the crew, but also allows for more flexible handling and storage inside the tank. The gun fires APFSDS rounds. These are massive metal arrows that punch through enemy armor at nearly 4,000 miles per hour, making them devastating against even the toughest opponents. It can also fire Hesh rounds, which splatter and explode on impact, sending deadly shockwaves through enemy vehicles and fortifications. This versatility means the Challenger 2 can take on a wide range of targets. While other tanks focus on rate of fire, the Challenger 2 is all about precision and adaptability. Its gun is designed for accuracy, not just brute force. The gunner can select the perfect round for the mission at hand, whether it's tank busting, bunker busting, or engaging infantry positions. This flexibility gives the crew a real edge in battle. The rifled barrel gives it a level of accuracy that's envied by tank crews worldwide. 
making it a favorite among those who value precision. In skilled hands, the L30A1 becomes one of the most lethal and precise tank guns ever made, capable of delivering pinpoint firepower under pressure. The L30A1, truly the crown jewel of this British beast and a symbol of engineering excellence that continues to impress to this day. A big gun's useless if your tank's made of tin foil. Enter Chobham Armour, a secret composite of steel, ceramics and mystery. It's a sophisticated sandwich designed to defeat even the nastiest anti-tank rounds. Ceramic layers shatter and absorb energy, stopping molten jets from penetrating the crew compartment. In Iraq, Challenger 2s survive multiple hits that would have crippled lesser tanks. All that protection comes at a cost weight. At over 64 tons, it's one of the heaviest tanks out there. But for the crew, that weight is reassuring, a rolling fortress that keeps them alive. The British philosophy, build a tank that survives, not just one that moves fast. No Challenger 2 has ever been lost to enemy fire, a record almost unheard of. Its armor isn't just steel, it's a life insurance policy. When survival matters most, nothing beats a Challenger 2. How do you move a 70-ton beast? With a 1-200 horsepower V12 diesel engine? That's eight times the power of a family car. But it's no speed demon. Tops out at 37 miles per hour on roads, 25 off-road. It's a marathon runner, not a sprinter, but its hydrogas suspension gives it a smooth ride over rough ground. This matters less crew fatigue and a stable gun platform for firing on the move. The Challenger 2 can cross rivers, climb slopes and handle terrain that would stop lesser vehicles. It's not the fastest, but it's agile for its size and always gets to the fight. The crew stays comfortable enough to focus on the mission, power and mobility enough to win, enough to survive. It's engineering triumph over brute force. The Challenger 2 isn't about speed, it's about getting there, winning and coming home. That's what counts. Challenger 2's story starts in the late 1980s as Britain sought a tank to outmatch Soviet armour. Vickers Defence Systems redesigned the Challenger 1, creating a new turret, gun and fire control system. After beating global competitors, Challenger 2 entered service in 1998, a new era for British armour. Its first test was in the Balkans, where its presence alone enforced peace. But its true trial came in Iraq, 2003, leading the advance on Basra, destroying enemy tanks from extreme range. In one legendary shot, it took out a tank over three miles away. Throughout the conflict, no Challenger 2 was lost to enemy fire, a testament to its design and crew. From Cold War to desert warfare, it proved itself invincible. Using a Challenger. 2 isn't just point and shoot, it's teamwork. Each tank has a four-person crew, commander, gunner, loader, driver. The commander directs, the gunner aims and fires, the loader handles heavy two-piece ammo and the driver navigates. Cramped, noisy and diesel-scented, the crew lives in the tank for days, forging tight bonds. Missions range from providing overwatch to spearheading assaults or reconnaissance. Powerful thermal sights scan for threats miles away. When a target's spotted, the commander calls it, the gunner locks on, the loader loads and the driver positions. In seconds, a precise round is fired. It's a complex dance of coordination under pressure. The Challenger 2 isn't just a machine, it's a complete weapon system. Success depends on the crew as much as the tank. That's what makes it formidable. How does the Challenger 2 compare to rivals like the Abrams Leopard 2 and T-90? The Abrams is fast and high-tech, but guzzles fuel and isn't as tough as the Challenger. The Leopard 2 is the all-rounder, fast, powerful and widely exported. The T-90 is small, light and packs a punch, but sacrifices crew safety for size. The Challenger 2, it's the heavyweight champion of protection, not the fastest or flashiest, but unmatched for keeping its crew alive. Its rifled gun delivers phenomenal long-range accuracy. In a straight fight, most crews would pick the Challenger 2. It's a brawler built to take punishment and hit back hard. The underdog in a race, but the favorite in a fight. When survival matters, the Challenger 2 is the tank you want. It's the specialist. Tough, dependable, and deadly. Every great machine has quirks, and the Challenger 2 is no exception. Each tank comes with a built-in kettle, vital for tea, coffee, and morale. The gun's recoil is so powerful it can shove the whole tank sideways. 
Fewer than 5% of its parts are shared with the Challenger one. It's a brand new beast. Its gun is so accurate, it can hit a dinner plate from over a mile away, even while moving. The stabilization is so good, a crew once balanced a pint on the barrel and drove across a field without spilling it. It's not just tough and powerful, it's got finesse and a sense of humor. The Challenger 2 is a legend, both for its might and its quirks. That's what makes it so uniquely British. The Challenger 2 isn't perfect. It's heavy, not the fastest, and sometimes feels like a relic from another era. It could use more power, especially when slogging through mud or climbing steep hills, and its engine sometimes groans under the weight of all that armor, but that misses the point entirely. This tank is built first and foremost to protect its crew, to keep them safe when everything else is falling apart, and at that it excels. The Challenger 2 is a fortress on tracks, a safe haven in the chaos of battle. A rolling fortress with a sniper's gun, it can hit targets at incredible distances with pinpoint accuracy. Over the years, it's earned both the loyalty of its crews and the fear of its adversaries, becoming a legend in its own right. Some say the age of tanks is over, but that's nonsense. Tanks remain the backbone of any serious army. As long as ground needs holding and soldiers need protection, tanks like the Challenger 2 will matter. Even after decades of service, it stands tall among the world's most formidable machines, a testament to British engineering. Now, it's getting a major upgrade, one that will keep it relevant for years to come. New engine, advanced suspension and cutting-edge digital systems are being added to bring it into the modern era. And for the first time, it will carry a powerful German smoothbore gun, giving it even more punch on the battlefield. The Challenger 3 will carry this proud legacy into the 2040S and beyond, ensuring British armour remains a force to be reckoned with. The bones of the Challenger 2 are so good, so well designed, that they'll serve another generation of soldiers. Young crews will train on it, learn from it and trust it with their lives. More than just steel and electronics, it's a symbol of British engineering, stubborn, brilliant and always putting people first. It's not the fastest or the flashiest tank on the battlefield, but it's the toughest and most dependable. In a dangerous world, that's what truly matters. The Challenger 2, magnificent, unapologetic and thoroughly British to its core. And for the soldiers who depend on it, that's everything. It's more than a machine, it's a promise.